follow along and you too will be able to do the heel lock or the lace loop lacing. Uh, you're gonna lace your sneaker like regular and when you get to those last two eyelets, you're gonna take it across like you always would to the top. That's what you see here in the video. And come across with the other one, you know, be consistent with your lacing pattern. When you get over here, instead of crossing over, you're gonna come right back down and go into that eyelet right there and make a tiny loop. And you can use your finger like I do right here to keep it uh, sticking out. And do the same thing over here with the other eyelet. Make a little loop right there. And right, you're gonna take that lace and then you're gonna do the same thing, follow your lacing pattern and come across through that little eyelet, uh, that loop that you created right there. And you're gonna do this with the other sneaker as well. Now this is really great to prevent blisters, sneakers from slipping. Um, I have plantar fasciitis, so I use this to prevent my sneaker from slipping and causing any foot pain. Uh, it's really helped out, it's been really beneficial. Uh, if you're running short distance, long distance, if you're training, really anything where your sneaker is gonna be moving, I think this is really gonna help out. So again, just watch what we're doing here. You're coming through that loop, all right? And you know, when you're putting this together, don't tighten down your sneakers too much because you still have to put your foot in. And up next, I'm just going to do a quick demo of me putting these on. So let's check that out. All right, we just did it from a couple angles here. I'm going to show you from the front, show you what it looks like when we cinch it down. And then on the right sneaker, I'm going to show you from the side. All right, so, you know, as you see here, I'm just getting my foot in there, uh, you know, tighten it down. And I think what's great is you, know, you pull this from the loops right here. All right, and you start to tighten it down. And when you pull this tight, you're going to feel your sneaker is really secure on your feet but it's not gonna feel uncomfortable. Like uh, sometimes if you tighten your sneakers down too hard, it kind of hurts the top of your foot. This doesn't seem to do that. Uh, the looping system uh, takes the pressure off the top. So here, if you see from the side, I slide in there and you're gonna see the loop uh, actually working here. And I think this is a good angle. So again, you come to the top and when you get to that loop, you tighten the loop itself, you pull that out and right? pull it nice and snug and then just pull your laces, you know, come up on top like that, you tie your knot as you see there, you see the loop uh, working on the outside, getting tugged, getting tugged tight. Uh, tie your knot, and that's pretty much it. And I'm just going to do a couple of things here. You're going to see that the sneakers aren't really coming off my feet at all. Uh, I hope you can see that uh, from the, the angle I'm shooting this from. But they are snug. They feel good. Uh, this is the way I use when I go running. Uh, it feels great on my feet. They definitely don't come loose, and I highly recommend it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.